Hey, what's up, everyone? It is your girl, JFBD87 here, aka Grace Honey. And today, we're gonna get into the Legendary Diversa Collection Part 2. So, I have, of course, the Mighty Monsters palette from Annette's Makeup Corner, and then I have the Earthwood palette from none other than Tina the Fancy Face. As you can see, I scooted over the scarf for the new scarf, but um, I did buy the whole collection, so I do have Annette's scarf. I think I already put it in my bag. I got both of their cute little refrigerator magnets and then both of their keychains which I'm excited to have so uh, what my plan is I'm going to put on each one of the palettes on their own and then I'm going to do uh, looks with each one of them combining their old palette and their new palette so without further ado let's get into it because um, I know the first half of this video was like long so, um, if you're curious what's on my lips, I ended up getting all, uh, sorry, a bunching up in the corners. Sometimes when I put too much gloss on to get the full effect, it bunches up in the corners of my mouth. So, it's one of those situations. But anyway, um, I'm going to go off camera and get into Annette's palette. And then the combined look with hers. And then I'm going to do Tina's palette and the combined look with hers. If you wanted to see all the comparisons of the palettes compared to other palettes, and uh, all the lip swatches of all the lip products, which by the way, this is Judy's lip set. I have on the shade Tulips. That's the matte liquid lipstick she came out with. She's the only matte uh, person that came out with a liquid lipstick. Everybody else just did glosses. And I have a gloss in Delilah on top to give this gorgeous effect on the lips. If you want to see all the lip products from the collection, you need to go watch the um, palette comparisons video where I show you all the palettes and the comparisons between the two. Y'all know it takes me a long time to do all those. So I want to make sure I did that separately. So that video is already somewhere. Hopefully I'll put it up there or I'll put it in the description box down below but without further ado I'm going to get into this so I'm gonna go off camera figure out what we're gonna do with the Nets palette let me show it since I didn't show it at the beginning I just showed y'all the outside so this is what a Nets palette looks like I think she's gorgeous I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do because I feel like I want to do just a bright look with the bottom tones if you will and then I'll do like a more grungy type of effect with her older palette since I feel like it has more of that vibe going on to it so I'm going to go off camera and get one eye done so that way the other eye can be a combination of both the eyes. Or um, I might just do swatches and come on camera with this one to save us some time because I did not plan on doing two separate videos tonight on this and I still have to finish my new makeup releases. So girl, that's a lot. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So I have on the shade Mystic Rose from Annette's Makeup Corners Lip Collection. And fun fact, Olden's Eye does have their own sets of brushes so I'm going to use their brushes to do this eye look. I'm gonna start with this one. They sent me this one for free when I had ordered some stuff in the past. I'm gonna start with the yellow shade called Solar Burst. I already primed to save us some time, girl. So I'm gonna just try to use this as my transition shade because I'm trying to save like all the neutral tones in the top part to pair with her original clap. This is actually um, turning deeper than I expected. Hmm. I don't know, I guess I didn't expect it to oxidize the way it is. So I've been, if y'all didn't know, I've been rocking with Odin's Eye for like almost the beginning, I would say. Like I have been buying from them since their second palette. If I remember correctly, the original Solomon was their second palette. And that was like the first video I did on them. So I've been rocking with Odin's Eye for a long time and watching them like transition into, you know, like where they are now. So it's nice to watch and, you know, be a part throughout the transition of the brand. A lot of people have told me this. I've not. I think I've said it in the past video. They said I was the first like black creator they ever saw like using Odin's Eye because they didn't know how it would work on us. So I was the little, little um, black creator of willing to take a risk and try it out just to see how it would look on people that look like us. Because a lot of people like they thought it was gonna look ashy and they didn't know how the colors were gonna work out and all that on black people. And I'm like, well, you know, y'all know I've been known to take one for the team. So in the case of Odin's Eye, I did and. As you can see, it, it works just nicely. The yellow is looking quite nice. I'm actually liking the way it's looking as far as transitioning go, y'all. Going with the red on the outer V, because I want to put the purple in the crease. I want to do like a weirdish type sunset moment. So, we'll start with the red on the outer V. I know it's not like super deep, but I feel like it's going to be a unique, interesting sort of like sunset vibe, if you will. This red on here, but yeah, y'all. Asian Game Over had his second track meet today super excited he's his time was better this time than it was the very first time 
unfortunately i did actually miss one of his events because what happened was the first one i went to they made you stay for like four or five hours so i was thinking it was gonna be like that and it was gonna be late when i got there like he was running in his like his first event and i had missed him doing the high jump if you will oh yes i'm liking that color okay in there girl let's get into the purple so yeah i'm definitely feeling this but back to what i was saying about agent game over so he had 30 seconds his first time and this time he had 29 so he got a little bit better i'm like that's what i'm hoping for every time he runs it he gets a little bit better because you know that's the goal right so here's obi oh yes okay how y'all feeling about that i'm actually feeling this color combination i didn't know how i was gonna feel about it but i think she's cute she's cute so let me change the battery and then i'll do the glitter glue since i got all this handled and then we'll pick out with shimmer on the lid because i don't know i'm gonna swatch on the back of my hand while the battery is being changed okay y'all so glitter glue is on here are the three shades we're working with so this is um what is it called mid guard gleam this one is glow vortex wait no sorry this is glow vortex this is mid guard gleam and then this one is the purple one ouroboros i believe that's how you say it so i want to put ouroboros in the inner corner i want to put the mid guard gleam on the lid and i kind of want to put glow vortex on top i think that's what we're going to do but i will show you what it looks like without glow vortex on top of it just so you can get a sense of you know how that looks or maybe i should do like a net have one toward the back one toward the front and then we put the purple in the inner corner yeah let's just do that instead because she knows we put like two and three shimmers on the lids i'm like you know when in wrong since this is her palette we just want to you know use two and three shimmers i mean i do that myself sometimes so it's not like i'm necessarily copying off her but especially since it's her palette i know she does stuff like that let me just go ahead and, you know we're gonna follow your lead today miss miss annette's makeup corner and we're just gonna Slather it all over my lid and just, you know, yeah, slather it. So, that's what she's looking like. We're going to flip the brush over now and do glow vortex toward the front. Ooh. I mean, y'all, the shifts. I love doing stuff like this because it's like every time you turn your head, it shifts a different color. People are like, what is going on over there? Who all over there? Like every shimmer in their mama's over here. That's who's over here. How are you doing? <laughs> you know, so let's go into the purple shade now. Ooh, I've scooped up a little bit much of that. Oh, yes, Annette. You weren't going to let me down, girl. Look at that. Yes, Miss Annette. I knew she wasn't going to let me down. So we're going to do a little fixing up as usual. You know, I'm going to add some more into the crease to kind of like air brush. We lay down the glitter glue in the initial shade. But yes, this is a great simple go-to eye look if you don't know like what to do. And I feel like she set up her palette where it's very obvious what colors will go together. So I knew like all these would go together and give you like a warm tone look. And then the top is supposed to be more neutral, like smoky vibe, if you will. At least if I'm buying that's how it's working. So that's what I'm going with, you know. So yeah, but this is definitely, definitely a cute little moment. So this is our first eye i'm gonna go off camera and swatch some stuff together and then figure out what we're gonna do to combine her original palette the giant wolves with a new one because y'all know i love to combine palettes so i figured this be a good time to combine these i'm gonna do a separate video swatching like all the special shades and all the collab palettes of the other ones to see if they have similar shades or whatever but i'm feeling like we can put like these two parts together and get a sort of kind of smoky vibe so we'll see I'm going to put on some eyeliner mascara when I come back though for this eye for when I take the pictures before we move on to Tina's palette. Okay. Okay, so this is our finished eye look. As you can see, I put a purple eyeliner on, put me some mascara on, and Miss Annette got us out here looking real cute like a fiery phoenix, if you will, or whatever. So, um, anyway, here is what I chose to do. So, I mean, are we supplied? I'm doing a blue smoky eye. I feel like no one is. No, who, who's surprised? You're not surprised. You know you're not surprised. Um... So this is what we're working with. So this is from the new palette. This is from the new palette. This is from the original palette. This is from the new palette. This is from the new palette. This is from the original palette. 
this is from the original palette and this is from the original palette so as you can see i pulled a little bit more from the original palette than i did the new palette just because i wanted to have a nice balance and i want y'all to remember what the old palette could do don't sleep on her just because she ain't been out in like two years you know she, she still got it going on so we're gonna start off with this shade right here then i'm gonna put the darker green from annette's giant wolves palette on top of it we're gonna put this green toward the outer v um, I'm think I'm gonna probably put this blue in the crease. I'm gonna put her special shade Eternal in the inner corner on top of the blue shade right here. And I'm gonna put this shade toward the front of the eye. And this is our outer V shade. So that's the order we're going in just in case anybody fits fused. We're gonna start off with the new palette in that transition shade. I'm using the same brush I did before. But after this, I only got so many Uden's Eye brushes, so don't be surprised if you see me bust out with my Sigmas or my other ones, because I only have so many, okay? I only have so many. So this shade is a cute little, like, you can't tell it's there, like, transition type vibe, if you will. So that's why I want to put a little bit of the green in there, because I'm like, I feel like you're not going to really tell I have a shade on. Which is okay for some people. I mean, I've, I'm fine with it if it was, like, just sitting in my primer or something, but it's like, I want to use as many colors as I can and show you, you know, like, the colors and remind you to pull it out and remember, y'all. Pull it out and remember. I always be telling y'all, pull it out and remember, girl. So we're going to pull it out the palette and we remember. So now I'm going to take that green shade. I'm only going to use a little bit of it. I'm not trying to use a whole lot. I just want to, you know, have a little bit of like, I guess, depth, if you will, to the crease. And just know that there's a shade there. Because like when I swatched it on my hand, y'all saw you barely, if saw it at all. I feel like it looked a little ashy. So that's why I was like putting it on. I want to, you know, like have a little bit of more color to it if you will as you can see the yellow has kind of oxidized if you will and it's blended to my skin a whole lot better which again i don't have a problem with i like it just fine but i wanted to give more smoke to it which is why i was like let me dip into that olive green gives a little bit more of smoke especially since i knew i wasn't gonna use that um shade on the outer v the um the black that's in the original palette because there's a black in here for you to use but i was like i want to use that turquoise for my smoky eye if you will so that's what we're working with okay and next, I'm going to go in with our outer V shade on this Uden's eye brush. Uh, I thought this was a gorgeous shade and I was so glad she put it in here because I love shades like this. That's the reason I like the, what is a high tide palette by um, Colourpop. Because I like tones like this. Like it doesn't have to necessarily be a traditional blue, if you will. But it can have like some blue and some green combined in it. I really like stuff like that. I know... Some people just want a traditional blue, and that's fine. Like, I like a traditional blue a good portion of the time, but sometimes you just want to switch it up a little bit, you know? Have a little cute, unique moment. And I feel like this is definitely giving, like, a cute, unique moment, if you want. So, I was actually thinking about dragging, like, that lighter blue, like, in this part right here, and then just going down to the inner corner from there. So, I think we might go ahead and do that, too. I literally just thought about doing that now. So, yeah, we're, we're going to do it. So, sure, why not? It's here, I'm here, you're here, everyone's here. We'll just go ahead and do it. I like my little antennas in front of my head, these cute little braids. So I braid my hair during the week, so that way in the weekend when I give y'all the look at me, I think I'm sexy pictures. I have like, you know, my waves have been in all week, so they'll be nice and fresh and blown out. And I usually try to do it on Saturday and not Friday because, you know, I don't have to braid it up at night again just to take it down the next day. So I usually try to keep my braids in like all week and then when Saturday comes is when we do all the extraness. So now I'm going to go in to this palette and take that blue shade at the bottom and put that in the crease. So I don't have a brush from them to do that, but I have this brush from Nava from the set I bought a while ago. So I'm going to just take that light blue shade and start going in the crease with that. So. Y'all, but I was telling y'all about Adrian Game Over and his track meet, sorry. So he had a better time than he did the last time. It was only by like, you know, a minute, but I was like, you know, every minute counts because he's trying to get to 26 minutes. He started off at 30, his second was 29. I showed up a little bit late because like I was telling y'all, it was like five um, hours the first one, but it was on a weekend. So I was thinking it was going to be like the same with this one. These people actually started on time and we were done in like two hours. So I was like, okay, so when I got there, he was running in his second event but it was like the first event he ran it because i the first one he did was the long jump i'm gonna just take this detailed diffuse crease brush from sigma it is a e33 i'm gonna go into the light blue shade oceanic toward the front of the eye but yeah so he was just you know running and 
he wasn't supposed to run in the race he was in so it wasn't like i had um showed up late for his event technically because he wasn't supposed to be in that one he's supposed to be in the event that was like right after that one but his coach signed him up at the last minute so that's how he ended up in it oh yeah y'all i'm loving this gradient look at that yes annette come through come through annette yes show, show the girls what they need to do no but um so he came in I guess in a decent time with that one, you can go online and check the times or whatever. I don't normally do it. Like, his dad usually go in and check because he's all excited that Adrian finally wants to meet sports and do sports. So, you know, he out there, like, checking everything and trying to help him with his times and all that, which is good because, you know, since his dad did track it, you know, it makes sense. Um, My whole thing with that is I just trying to tell him, like, your son is not you. Stop trying to compare y'all times and all the other stuff. He is not you. And he's like, I know. And I'm like, yeah, so stop trying to make him be you. He's him. Just let him be that and let that be enough. Because for the longest time, he didn't do a sport at all. So it's like, just, just let him be him and do what he's doing. So we're going to glitter glue it up now, y'all. So I'm just like, I'm happy he's doing it. He actually ended up placing, I think it was third in a race because he, um... Some other boy was slowing down toward the end. You know how at the last end, some people get winded and they think, you know, like because they're already in front, they're gonna stay in front. And then that person comes with the burst of energy and just cuts them off at the end. So Adrian did that to some kid at the meet tonight. Like he came through at the last second and the kid slowed down. And Adrian swooped in and took the title from him after he had put in all that work. So it's like, that just reminded me like, you know, just because you at the top or at the point you are doesn't mean you should stop. Or get too comfortable because it's like he got comfortable and my son just cut him off and it was a wrap. So anyway, let's go into shade flared now. That's the um, green I told you we're going to put toward the back of the eye. So I'm just like, yeah, don't ever get too comfortable, y'all, because somebody will surely come and swoop. If y'all know the girl swoop, then you know why I said it the way I said it. The chick with the blue hair that does like all the documentaries on all the people. What if she just did one of What's the woman's name? Um, the, 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 what's, uh, the Gypsy Bros Blanchard chick or whatever. Oh, yes, Annette. See, this is giving me all fire I need. We're going to go back in with the outer V shade real quick. So I can build that up. But yes, so she did one of those. I was just watching, what is it? Cool World Happy Mind. She had like a five hour one on, what was the eight passengers people? What if I was like, good lord, lady. Like, cause I was wondering where she had been because she hadn't popped up on my thing in a while. And you know how YouTube unsubscribes from people sometimes. So I'm thinking, like, I was just unsubscribed because, like, she hadn't put up anything while, like, no, she was uh, sitting on, like, this five-hour, like, you know, docudrama or whatever you want to call it. Child, that's a long time, okay? It's just, it just, it's a lot. Okay, it's, it's just a lot. But, you know, like, I fell asleep watching it. Hopefully, over the weekend, I can, like, watch it in bits and pieces and get it done. We're going to take the shade Serpent Scales now. That's the one we're going to put you at the front of the eye from Annette's palette. Sorry, Annette's new palette, let me specify. We're using both Annette's palettes, so... So this one is from Mighty Monsters. And I feel like I thought that both of these would blend together nicely. Just kind of like the other side where you get like two different tones of color. So that's why I want to pick this one. Plus this one's more sparkly and that was more metallic. So you get the extra sparkle toward the front of the eye. And then you get the extra sparkle of her special shade from her original palette. That I'm going to use in a second. After I put down the, you know, like blue powder shade. In the corner, but like y'all, yes to this eye, please. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So let me just, and I'm just going back over everything real quick, and then I'm gonna go and you know, whatever. I'm trying to think of what eyeliner to put with this. I feel like y'all already know what eyeliner in my mind I want to put with this. So, I mean, like, if you guess sector 001 from a Dev Cosmetics, because y'all know I live for their. Legal eyeliners, then you guessed right. However, um, I'm thinking I might use one of my unearthly ones just because they're like newer. And um, I just swatched them on camera, but I don't think I like use this shade like yet for you all. So I'm thinking I might use that one instead. I had an eye booger that came out on the brush. Sorry. Oh, yes. Look at that. I kind of don't want to put the sparkle, but at the same time, it's like, it's such a pretty sparkle, so I can't, like, not put the sparkle. But you see what it looks like without the sparkle now. Because we're about to go in with the shade Eternal on top of this. And just amplify it, like, by 100. 
So that's what the tunnel looks like on the inner corner. It's giving a cute little subtle, just extra pop. I feel like if you saw me in person, it would like do more than it is on camera because I didn't put a whole lot on there. And since I put it on top of matte one, it's giving just a little subtle, like oop, boop, boop. <laughs> little like moment there. So I'm going to put the eyeliner on in tonic from Unearthly, put on some mascara, and then I will come back and give y'all a cute little pose. And here's the finished eye, y'all. So I just put my mascara and my eyeliner on. I have on Snake Kiss from Annette's Makeup Corner. We have finished with Miss Annette. And I must say, I was impressed the way I expected to be. So shout out to Miss Annette. You did that, girl. And I am excited to play with these some more. But now it's on to Miss Tina the Fancy Face. So we show both Tina's palettes. So I'm going to do the same thing with Tina that I did with um, Annette. And I'm going to talk about my history as far as Tina the Fancy Face goes. So just in case y'all forgot, this is what the palette looks like. She's really cute. I kind of want to do a... I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do since I have to do two different looks because i'm thinking i want to do a more like soft peach and green with maybe the red in her old palette this bright red as a look and then do a more like earthy smoky look with like um the first part of the palette so just kind of reverse the way i did it with annette like do more smoky for the first look with the palette on its own to give y'all a more neutral effect and then going with the fun bright spring colors when combined with this one because i feel like this one has more bright fun colors than than this one does this is giving more earthy if you will so i'm gonna go off camera swatch all that figure all that out and then i'll come in with a lip color i'm going to put on the shade um probably endurance to start start off with using her pet no matter of fact endurance is the um shimmery fun one so i'll use that one last i'm going to put on the shade wait no endurance is the new one so um i'll put that on first and then yeah i will go in with creativity which is the glow shade when it gets to combine both the palettes so i'll be right back okay girl okay okay y'all so this is what we're working with. I try to pull as many neutral shades as possible and kind of still stick to the earth wood kind of vibe of the palette, which is why I chose to mainly just use the greens in this one. So we're going to start off with this shade as our transition. Then I'm going to mix the deeper brown shade in with it to get it a little closer to my skin tone. This one works perfectly for Tina, as she said. But this one mixed with that one should work perfect for my skin tone. Then we're going to put this on our outer V. I'm actually going to put this shade all over the lid and then top it with this one and then just add it to the inner corner. And of course, y'all know this is the outer V shade. So that's what we're going to do with this look. So I'm going to take my last, well, my second to last Wooten's Eye Brush that I have for my collection and just start dusting it off here. This is actually looking like it's a pretty nice shade of transition for me as well, but it's like I want to give like a more smoky, earthy toned effect if you will so that's why i'm going to mix both those shades together but this one looks pretty good on its own too you just does a good job of um like picking transition shades for people her skin tone so my story about scene ain't gonna be too long because you know i'm uh the story basically is like when i came on youtube um i know i have new followers so like this is perfect time to tell you the story of how i got into makeup so I had a grandma, my grandma passed away in 2021 in July, but um, she was really into makeup. She had been trying to give me, I'm taking the darker brown shade now. I just dipped into a little bit to kind of like deepen this up and be like a true perfect transition shade for my skin tone. But not that it was bad before, but you know, but she had been trying to give me to wear makeup since I was like 16 when my mom would let me. And um, for a long time I was like, yeah, no, I don't want to, I don't want to be bothered, whatever. And so, um, yeah, look how nice that transition shade is. If you saw my skin tone, mixing both of those together just slightly makes the perfect transition shade. But I was like, yeah, no, I'm cool, whatever. So then, if y'all didn't know, um, I have a half-brother, but I'm, you know, pretty much the only child. Like, my brother is, like, 16 years older than I am, so he's, like, in his 50s. So, um, we're not really, like, close or whatever. So, like, my grandma, um, or my mom, my mom's mom, she's the last grandma I had left till 2021. Um, she had been trying to give me more makeup forever. Let's go on to this outer V shade. That's the shade Leaves. And um, I was like, yeah, no, I'm cool, whatever. I don't really bother. So, like, one year she forgot my birthday. Now, I just told y'all I'm the only grandchild. So, that's when I knew, like, something was wrong. Because I'm like, 
I'm your only grandchild and you remember my birthday. So she said she had been wanting me to wear makeup forever. I was like, let me, um, ha ha ha. No, but <laughs> I was like, let me start like wearing makeup and like, you know, while she remembers who I am. Now she never forgot who I was, thank goodness, but like she forgot a whole bunch of other stuff. Like she forgot my mom's birthday, she got my birthday, she got my son's birthday. And she started calling like my mom her mom instead of her, you know, like daughter or whatever. So it was sad to watch, but I had to find basically people on YouTube because I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. So, because since she had tried to get me to do it for years and I wouldn't, I'm like, I have no idea what to do or where to start. So I was scurrying through YouTube trying to find people that look like me. And the first person I found that remotely looked close to me while I was on my YouTube search and journey was, of course, none other than whose collab we'll be using now for the second time. Se technically the third time, this is just the second old inside one if we want to get technical. But I found Tina the Fancy Face. So Tina is, I think, like closer to my mom's skin tone. So her Asian game over and my mom are like of the same skin tone. I'm like a couple shades darker than they are because my dad is um darker than my mom and then like my grandma was darker than my mom. So I feel like my skin tone like color or whatever comes from them. So I'm like, okay, cool. Whatever. Um so um that being said, Tina always holds a special place for me because she's the first YouTuber I found that like kind of helped me start doing what it is I do now, sitting down talking to y'all and all that by, you know, like helping me basically learn what I was doing in general when it came to anything with makeup. So whenever Tina has anything coming out, I'm like, I need two of everything. Like, I need two of everything. My greedy self, I wouldn't play with y'all. I got two of her palette. I, I don't play when it comes to Tina's stuff. I don't care what it is. I'm going to have two of it. So I got two of my eyeshadow palettes like always. I didn't get two of the lip products, although I did like them. So later on down the line, if I get another one, mind your business. But um, I'm going to take the mint shade now and put that in the crease. And then start packing it all over the lid. But yeah, I'm like, I... So that's what Tina holds a special place to me. And whenever I like, you know, see her get her flowers, as uh, old black people would say. I try to make sure I give her her flowers and go by whatever it is and rave about it. I have to use it a lot. Like I told y'all um, in the swatch comparison video, well not swatch comparison, but the palette comparison video for this, I, um, what do you call it? I um, had three of her first palette and I literally just did like um, a look with the Tropicolor palette a couple of weeks ago because we didn't find out that this was coming out yet. So like... I think it was like a couple of days before I did my new makeup releases after they had announced her and Annette's palettes were coming out. I, I had done a look with her other collab that I think you can still get with um, Sydney Grace. Don't quote me. I'm not 100% sure. So I will always have a special place for Tina the Fancy Face because she's one of the first like OG YouTubers that I found that looks like me. <laughs> so that's my little short story on Tina's fancy face and how we got to where we are now with me always talking about Tina and what if she has something coming out behind like two or three of them because you know we love Tina the fancy face over here so but I'll definitely try to give y'all more of the like true earthy vibe of this palette because y'all know be I'm gonna be grabbing for every color up in here and mixing it with the other original palette she came out with because that now gives me an excuse to pull it out even though you can't get it anymore but you know yeah, you should have grabbed it i told y'all i grabbed three you should have grabbed it that's not that's not my business oh that's it y'all i thought i had bought the lip color in here to put on but i probably took in the bathroom to the lip liner so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go put the lip on i had her remember i told y'all i was gonna put the nude shade on to go with this whole aesthetic view so i'm gonna go put that on then i'll come back and do the um glitter glue on the lid and then we will pat that on so i'll be right back okay y'all so this is endurance her new lip now we're gonna go in with the shade coast that's the um shimmery mint shade that i showed you all earlier if it doesn't work with the brush the way i'm hoping it does i might just try to press it on with the finger but i'm hoping we can just okay yeah she's she's giving what i want her to without me having to use a finger because I was praying to the Lord. I'm like, I don't want to have this finger moment. I really don't want to. However, you know, if we had to do it for a look, we just gonna have to do it for a look, girl. But, you know, thank goodness I don't have to because I'm not one who prefers to use a finger. I just, I don't want to. The thing is, I will say, like, this is one you're gonna have to press, I mean, spray your brush with. 
because as you can see glitter is falling all over my nose now while I'm pressing this in the eye so just be mindful of that and make sure that you do that so you don't have glitter all over your face I don't care I can have the glitter in the sky glitter in my eyes I don't really care but you know like if you don't want that then it's fine but it's like we know I'm going to take this off so but yeah it's giving the effect I wanted it to give and since this was more like one of those like lighter um iridescent type shimmers that's another reason I wanted to put it on top of Tina's um I mean to put it on top of this matte shade because I was like I don't know how much shimmer it's gonna give us on because I feel like when I swatched it definitely gave more iridescent than like you know metallic and I prefer metallic I mean iridescent is nice every now and again I don't have a problem with it it's just more of as a general rule I prefer metallic so we're gonna wrap this in the inner corner I'll go put an eyeliner on then I'll come back with swatches of the other one and then you'll see the final look of this and we'll get into the next eye look because my alarm just went off and that means I'm normally at work today and that means it's 145 so I have 30 minutes to get this done so I can like go home and you know edit this so I don't know what I'm gonna add to my new makeup releases because that was the plan to like oh yeah it's, it's given enough in the inner corner where I didn't need to add it to there but you know that's okay that's just what I want to do so that's what I did so that's what we're working with so far like I said I'll do my eyeliner off camera and I'll come back with swatches of what we're gonna do with all this here so I need to take these swatches off give you new swatches and give you the final lip and then we'll talk about my thoughts on this collection which I feel like you already have a good idea because I mean it, it's Tina okay so this is what I finished off with I just put the shade and amulet on from unearthly cosmetics the eyeliner and this is what we're working with I'm gonna change the lip at the end to add the sparkly glowy one just to finish it off it's the shade creativity it's the brighter one. I just kept on the nude for right now to try to, try to finish this off. So this is Hummingbird. This is Earthwood. Earthwood. Hummingbird. Earthwood. Earthwood. Hummingbird. Earthwood. So as you can see, I did a good majority. I, I had to make sure I use the special shades in both palettes to remind you how gorgeous both the special shades are in both the palettes. So we're going to start off with the new palette. I'm going to start off with the transition shade for life. We're going to put the shade Petal, this deep purple on the lower lash line. This is my last look of the night. And I'll probably put leaves on the other side on the lower lash line for the original one. I'm actually not using any, um, I'm going to use this purple shade in the inner corner. But I'm not using any neutrals since we just used the neutrals in the last look. I think that's all I have. I don't, wait, no. I'm using the shade Beauty on the lid when we get to that part. Then in the original Hummingbird palette, I didn't use that much out of this one, believe it or not. I'm just using the shade Hibiscus and the shade Star Apple for the outer V. So Hibiscus is our crease shade and Star Apple is our outer V shade. So I'm going to go in with Earthwood now and work that out. I'm using a Sigma E38 Detail Diffuse Crease Brush. Or sorry, not Diffuse Crease Brush. The Detail Diffuse Crease Brush is that super small one I put in, well, the crease. So. I wanted to use more of the bright colors in this one and give more like a light pastel -y spring like vibe if you will so that's why I'm um you know starting off with this one as opposed to the neutrals in addition to what I just said which we literally just used both the neutrals in the first look because I tried to give more of what the palette's meaning was supposed to be in the first look when it came to like the earthy tones and now we're going for more of what my traditional thing is which is bright fun colors so I used all the bright fun colors just about I feel like Hummingbird has a little bit more fun bright colors, but again, it's called Earthwood, so it's supposed to be getting more of this like neutral flair, which is fine because now it's like you have a companion palette to go with this one if you didn't like tropical color because you feel like it had too many neutrals, or if you're just not necessarily crazy about Cindy Grace's formula, then you can get this palette. Sorry, y'all, I'm trying to get the glitter off my nose. What? It's a cute little transition moment. Now we're gonna go into the Hummingbird palette and take that shade called Star Apple, that dark purple. And we're gonna use our Sigma E25 to do that for the, um, it's the uh, blending brush. But yeah, y'all, like I did not get much sleep today. You know, I had a day of work, it wasn't too much sleep because I had to, as soon as this came, I had to do all my um, videos outside of it. Then I had to get um, some videos done for Dossier. So I gotta have them in my stories along with telling y'all about this palette coming to my doorstep or showing y'all the shorts or whatever how I'm gonna do this on Instagram I could do that so I do that whole situation then I gotta um what do you call it um go home and film the um shorts tonight so I can have some shorts go up for the next day or whatever so I'm gonna have the shorts go up for 
I guess the Nets palette today, this morning, and then I have the shorts for Tina's palette tomorrow so I can have a couple shorts for the next couple of days. And then I film my video about this collection over the weekend as far as like the swatch comparisons for all the different um, inside collab palettes and how they vary or differ, whatever the case may be. Ooh, that looks cute. It's giving, it's cute. I need to go back in to the original, I'm sorry, the new oh, Lord Earthwood palette just to try to smooth and transition over the purple because I brought it out and y'all know I like to kind of go over it and kind of airbrush and have all the colors like in sync if you will. I'm going to go underneath there. I didn't add any product underneath there. I'm just smoothing out what's already there. But yeah, so she's looking cute so far. Um, now we're going to go back to the Hummingbird, the original Hummingbird and take the shade Hibiscus and put that in the crease. But yeah, so sleep was not my friend as usual. But the difference is I was just happy I didn't have to go to work. When sleep wasn't my friend, like I'd be more irritated when I have to go to work and sleep isn't my friend. Like if I don't have to like go in and work a full shift after I, you know, do all these things, then you know, it's not as bad. But it's like if I had had to do all this and go to work and then try to come back here and do this, that'd have been a whole like to do about thing. Like I don't even think I'm gonna add to the new makeup releases this week. I think I'll just put whatever it is for next week because it's already like in the can, like in the computer. And since I didn't bring my um, charger for my computer if like this car gets full or whatever I didn't want to risk it so I was gonna film in between and just show Annette's makeup corners look in the um, thing as like a teaser like yeah you should go watch that video but it's like I'm not even you know about to risk that since my, I'm sure the computer the battery on my computer has died while I've been sitting here doing this because I got called by my employees while I was um, sitting here filming the first part where I just showed y'all the palette comparison so I was like yeah we not Mm -mm, we're not gonna try to risk that at all. We're not. We're not doing that. Cause last thing I need is this computer dying. That I'd be mad. I don't know what. So, do you hear me? Like upset? Cause the car is always getting full as it is. Whenever I'm talking to y'all, then you turn around. The batteries are trying to die every five minutes. And I have like three or four cars, mind you. And one of them literally says it's just full to the brim. And I'm like, I don't even remember like what's on that when I haven't looked at it yet. But it just said it was full. And I was like, um, okay. Then I erased some stuff off the other two because I had my old new makeup releases on it and didn't realize it. But I didn't have time to go through and look through that because I'm like, I want to get home at a decent hour because I still have to go to work tomorrow. I have to go to this event for my son and I have to still like um, go home and edit this tonight. So that way it can go up at 7 and the other one can go up at 12 in the afternoon. So it's like I still got to go through all these things. So I'm like, you know, we're not trying to do all that. So I'm going to take the shade Beauty now and put that all over the lid. So I was like... My mom's like, you just gonna have to slow down. I'm like, I know. But, you know, it just it can't be today. You know, we, we, we could slow down another day. But it just can't be today. So, thank God I have vacation time coming starting Friday. So, I have Friday and Saturday off at work. Ooh, yes, Tina. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, Tina. You're giving us the fire. Mm hmm Miss, Miss, Miss Tina? Mm hmm Okay, but anyway, sorry, I just got excited because that color is everything it's giving. I'm living, yes, but anyway, it's like I was saying, like, because I, you know, have my cousins are coming to town and like they literally come to town Friday after picking them up from the airport, it worked out perfectly because, um, Adrian came over to spend time with Dex. Pulaski Day is coming, so I don't have to worry about taking him to school Monday so everybody can go to this event because my mom was trying to figure out which day she could go to the trade show because she's talking about going maybe one day so she can go like on sunday with them and i'll just take them and pick them up because i'll take my cousin to the airport sunday anyway and then i have to worry about it. then monday she can um stay at home and make sure that adrian game over has a way to get in the house because we haven't given key yet he hasn't shown that he's responsible enough to have keys i'm like look i ain't giving you no keys and then you screw up something and then i gotta go and change the locks to the house because you know I told y'all before, like, if anything happens in the house or anything goes wrong, my mom's just expecting me to, like, be this handy, magical man that just comes and fixes everything. So, I'm like, last thing I need, and I've shown my son how to do some of the stuff, too, so it's not like he doesn't know, like, because I worked at Home Depot for six years. For those of you who didn't know, I did electrical work, so it's like, I, I know how to do some stuff. It's just, you know, like, I'm not trying to not find unnecessary stuff that needs to be done, like, changing locks when I just don't need to give you a key, because it's... My mom is like a homebody and stays at home majority time. Anyway, y'all, I'm looking like a phoenix. Look at this. Yes, Miss Tina got me out looking like a fiery phoenix. No. 
But um, we're going to take the shade um, Petal and put that on the lower lash line now. I'm loving the color of this and I love the distinction of the different colors of the purples. So you about to see what I'm talking about? Like, cause I feel like this is definitely giving more like Huda Beauty, um, what's that palette called? The, um, those quartz like type purple. Whereas this one is to me giving more of a like just a traditional like deep eggplant purple. This is giving more of like that great undertone purple and the other purple is just giving more of a deep eggplant. So I feel like I can see the distinction in them and I feel like when I show you the swatches, you can see the distinction of them hopefully. Cause like honey, yes, yes, yes. Where'd the brush go? Yes, I'm, I'm so here for it. So I'm gonna go on your stair now. I probably should just go ahead and do the green too to save us some time. And then when I change my lip after I go um, put my eyeliner on cause I don't plan on putting that on camera then I'll just poke y'all about it then. But yeah, so I'm just over here like yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So let me get this other brush now and just do this shade and leaves really quick. But yes, yeah, so I'm like, they're coming. So I will have my long break then. Because they're supposed to be here for like five days. And I have um, Friday and Saturday off, as you all know. Because that's when I do all this filming for all this stuff. Along with throughout the week. So I have Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday off. So I only have to work like Wednesday and Thursday. And then I have my full week still. And I get, I think I get paid that week too. So I'm like super excited. I'm just like, yes. I'm loving it. Yes. So what the, oh yeah, I used this brush originally for this look. So let's go underneath there. I uh, might actually put some in the waterline too. I have some of those like pencils. What do you call them? Um, Multi-chrome pencils. So I'll probably put those on off line, um, off camera too. So let's put these inner corner shades in though real quick. And then I'll worry about doing all that. So I want to take the light purple. And shade vitality and start off with that I mean look at that look how stunning that looks I don't even need to add fancy on top of it but I'm going to because I just feel the need to but I mean that looks stunning on its own just perfect so now we're gonna go and show the shade fancy just a little bit just cuz like I said I want y'all to remember how amazing the first shade was that she did when it came to like uh gorgeous dual multi chrome shade so as you can see now it's just giving an extra little glow to what we already got going on so i'm here for it it's cute let me go off camera put my eyeliners on or my eyeliner on put on my last lip and then we will talk about both of these palettes and what my thoughts are on them be right back okay y'all so guess we're working with the finished eye on both the eyes using the Hummingbird and the Earthwood and then the Earthwood and this is a lip gloss and creativity Hopefully you can see the glitter sparkle. I did swatch all these on my hand. They should be on my IG If you're interested you can go check out my Instagram reels and you'll see it, but this is what we work with so Let's talk about each one of these palettes and the pros and the cons and all that good stuff. So we're going to start with the one I started off with, which is the Mighty Monster. Annette did an awesome job on this palette. I like the fact that she laid it out plain for people who have difficulty coming up with looks and not being able to see a look on its own. Like, she clearly made it clear. Like, this is your fun, colorful sunset eye. This is your more neutral, smoky eye. Or you can do a combination of them, which we know I will do in the future. But I try to do it where it's laid out and plain and simple for people who, you know need simple looks to be done plus i had a vision in my mind of what i wanted to do with combining her original palette along with this one so that's why it was um easy for me but i like the color stories as a whole i like the um quality of the shadows inside it's gotten better and better over the years remember i told y'all i was one of the first well one of y'all told me i was the first black person you ever saw on youtube to use Uden's eye, and that was with their second palette they came out with because i believe it goes freya first and then solman was the second one i bought the solman palette and did a review for y'all when um Uden's eye was originally coming out and with the original formula it's like i said they progressed over the years so um this one is their top tier formula it's they just get better and better over time. I love the color story that it came out with. I think it's beautiful. I think it looks absolutely stunning. And I was definitely impressed with the quality of this. And I can't wait to play with it some more. Along with playing with it with her other palette. Because 
I like to do that to remind people that if you don't have the new one, it's okay. You can still use the old one and come up with some similar stuff because that's why I show them side by side and show where they pair together. If you do have both or if you don't have both, maybe you can get some ideas and be inspired by, sorry, be inspired by, you know, what's going on with the new palette. With some palettes you already have. That's what the palette comparison video was for before this. Now on to Tina's palette. This artwork is everything. I feel like they do a great job with the artwork. I love the artwork of both Tina's palettes. I don't know which one I like better because I feel like I like it shows her face um, clearer in the hummingbird whereas with this one. But I love the butterflies on the lips. I think that one's so cute too. So I don't know when it comes to which one of Tina's palettes I like best. But you know. When it comes to the artwork anyway. Now when it comes to the color story, we all know I was going to like the original one better just because it's like this one is more muted and neutral. But I mean because of the title, I expected it to be that way. So I like this one just fine. I like the color story of it. I definitely see myself more pairing this one with the new one or just reaching for this one when I want to do a cute little spring pastel moment. But I don't necessarily just see myself grabbing for this one on its own too often because it's giving more of muted earthy type colors. But the form on it is awesome. It's great. Y'all know I still had to have two just because of was Tina and I was super excited for Tina and her palette so I like these now when it comes to the lips I was actually very very impressed with all the lip products I'm kind of sad though that um nobody did a liquid lipstick besides um Judy but I did buy all the lip products because I liked every single color that they came out with the lip products so I had to have them all so I definitely recommend you try the lip products even if you don't necessarily love the color stories of any of the palettes lip products are great if you like a nice sparkly gloss with lots of reflect to it I think you really like the glosses that they selected and if you're looking for a nice pink matte liquid lipstick I would suggest you um get Judy's collection because all her lip glosses look like they'll go nicely on top of her lipstick in addition to her lipstick just being a nice lip color. Again, if you watch my swatch of comparison video, then you know all about my thoughts and the lip products. I showed them all on some of my skin tone for anyone who's interested in that. So go check out the first video that came out today at 12 p.m. Or if you just want to see the palette comparison shorts and you don't care about the lip products, you can go watch the shorts that I made that came out at, I believe, 6 or 7 a.m. this morning. So it's a lot of Uzai content coming out today, and I'll have some coming out next week. I want to do um, comparisons of all the Uzai, um collabs and give my thoughts on them for old who are interested. Because I believe Betty Bean and her collection is still available with the two girls she did with, which was Makeup Just For Fun and Lauren May Beauty and then I know Angie's Halloween collection is still available. I know they said they're low on stock but they still have that one. I know they don't have hell anymore but I want to go over all of them just for the people who still want to possibly buy from Old Inside so you can see what's going on with all that. So that video will be going up sometime next week as well. I got a whole bunch of stuff coming up next week. I always got a whole bunch of stuff coming up as y'all know so just stay tuned for if you want more Old Inside content. I do have a playlist of Old Inside too just in case anybody was interested in Tina's first palette and my first looks and all that but I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all the diamonds. Make sure you subscribe. I know that was really long with the extra but I want to make sure I got everything known that's coming up when it comes to Old Inside for anybody who's really into Old Inside and looking for me to do some more because you know I have a lot of Old Inside and I told y'all I've been with them since like their second palette but be blessed girl bye